Now let's try this set of questions. Question number 10. A circuit has two parallel paths and their impedances are Z1 equals 10 plus J20 ohms, Z2 equals negative J 12.5 ohms. Calculate the combined impedance. Now let's solve this question together. So according to the question, we have two parallel paths Z1 and Z2. So let this be Z1, which is equal to 10 plus J20 ohms. And then we have this to be Z2 equals negative J 12.5 ohms. And we are being asked to find the combined impedance. Now two resistors connected in parallel is given by RT equals R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now the same applies to two impedances in parallel. So the combined impedance that is ZT is given by Z1 times Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2. So let's input the values of Z1 and then Z2. So we have Z1 to be 10 plus J20. And then Z2 to be negative J 12.5 divided by Z1 10 plus J20 plus Z2 which is negative J 12.5. Now let's try to simplify this. We have 10 times negative J 12.5 and that gives negative J 125 plus 20 times 12.5 is 250 and then we are left with J and then negative J. So J times negative J gives negative J squared. We have this all divided by 10 plus 0 is 10 and then J20 plus negative J 12.5 gives J 7.5. Now let's simplify further. We know that J square is equal to negative 1. Therefore, negative J square is equal to negative times negative 1 and that is equal to 1. So 1 times 250 is 250. So we have 250 and then minus J125 all divided by 10 plus J7.5. Now at this point we are going to convert these values from their rectangular forms to their polar forms. Now if you convert 250 minus J125 to the polar form, then you have 279.508 polar negative 26.565 divided by 10 plus J7.5 also gives 12.5 polar 36.870. So we divide 279.508 by 12.5 and then we have 22.361 polar and for the angle because we are dividing we are going to subtract. So we have negative 26.565 minus 36.870 and that gives negative 63.435. Now let's convert this from the polar form back to the rectangular form. When you do that, you have 10 minus J 20 ohms. 
Therefore, we have the combined impedance ZT to be equal to 10 minus J 20 ohms. Now, let's move on to the next question. So, to question 11. A capacitor of 400 over pi microfarad is connected in parallel with a 40 ohm resistor across a 200 volt 50 hertz supply. A. Find the total supply current and then B. Determine the power factor of the whole circuit. Now let's represent the information we have in a circuit. So we are being told that we have a capacitor of 400 over pi microfarad and that is connected in parallel with a 40 ohm resistor across a 200 volt 50 hertz supply. So we have this to be the AC source which is 200 volt 50 hertz supply and then we have a capacitor in parallel with a 40 ohm resistor so we have this to be the capacitor and that is in parallel with the resistor so we have R to be 40 ohms and then we have the capacitor to be 400 over pi microfarad and then we are going to find A the total supply current now to find the total supply current we first of all need to find the total impedance of this circuit and then we can divide the voltage that is 200 by the total impedance of the circuit now let the impedance due to the resistor be z1 and also the impedance due to the capacitor be z2 so let z1 equals r and that is equal to 40 ohms and also let z2 equals now because z2 is the impedance due to the capacitor that's going to be negative j x c so let's find x c that is the capacitive reactance so we have x c equals 1 over omega c and we can simplify this as 2 pi f c that is 1 over 2 pi f c now from the question we are given the frequency to be 50 hertz so we have 2 pi times 50 times the value for the capacitance which is 400 over pi microfarad so we have 400 over pi times 10 exponent negative 6 so when you simplify the denominator we are going to get 0 0.04 and then 1 divided by 0 0.04 is 25 so we have XC to be 25 ohms. Therefore, representing the impedances in the rectangular form, we have Z1 equals 40 ohms and then Z2 equals negative J 25 ohms. So let's move on as we find the combined impedance. So the combined impedance is given as ZT and that is equal to now because the two impedances are in parallel we are going to have Z1 times Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2 and that is equal to we have Z1 to be 40 Z2 to be negative J 25 divided by 40 plus negative j 25 so let's simplify this 
So 40 times negative j, 25, gives negative j, 1000, divided by 40 plus negative j, 25, is 40 minus j, 25. Now let's convert each of the values at the numerator and the denominator to their polar forms. So that gives 1000 polar negative 90 divided by 47.17 polar negative 32.005. Now let's simplify this. So we divide 1000 by 47.17 and then we have 21.20 and then polar negative 90 minus negative 32.005 and that also gives negative 57.995. So this is the combined impedance. Now we have this value that is 21.20 to be the impedance and then we have negative 57.995 to be the phase angle. Therefore, to find the total supply current that is given by I equals V over Z and then we have V to be 200. So 200 divided by 21.20 and that gives 9.43 amperes. So this is the value of the total supply current. So that is A. And also for B, we are being asked to find or determine the power factor of the whole circuit. So the power factor is equal to cosine of the phase angle. Now we have the phase angle to be negative 57.995 and then cosine of this value gives 0 0.53. Now considering this circuit, you realize that the impedance is capacitive because we have a capacitor in the circuit. Therefore, in a capacitive circuit, the current always leads the voltage. Therefore, the power factor is going to be 0 0.53 leading. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.